Hi there, Norman with iSaveTractors.com. In this video, I'm going to be building this winch power dump trailer. So here is what we're starting with. This is a tandem axle. It looks like a homemade trailer that I got off of somebody off of Craigslist. It's going to make a great starting point for our winch power dump trailer. So here's my plan. I'm going to be building a 4 foot wide by 6 foot long dump bed that's going to be 18 inches tall. That should give me about 36 cubic feet of uh, space in here. I'm going to be welding some 2 by 2 rectangle, or square I should say, from here to there and again on the front to extend this frame out. I'm going to be cutting all these little pieces off. I'm going to be building a hinge back here and then a winch that's going to be connected to about a five foot tall mast is going to lift this up to I'm hoping to get steeper than a 30 degree dump angle. So my order of operations to get all this done, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to cut off all these tabs here uh, that I don't need. I'm going to remove the axles, clean up all the metal, I'm going to weld the 2x2 two two squares on both ends, and then I'm going to paint this whole thing, reassemble, and then start welding and putting together the bed. Here we go. So to kick off this project, I use my DeWalt electric angle grinder to cut off all those vertical pieces of steel. Uh, there wasn't much technique to this. I just took my cutting disc to the weld seams. I cut into them as deep as I could, and then I whacked them with a hammer, and I did it over and over until they were all gone. Now here I am cleaning up the frame of this trailer. I'm using a combination of uh, wire wheels as well as uh, 120 grit flapper wheels uh, on a different angle grinder. And I'm just going around. I'm not trying to do anything super perfect. I'm just trying to remove all the rough edges and all the flaking paint and get uh, most of the rough rust off. This is going to be a working trailer. I'm really not too concerned with the most perfect finish. So I'm just trying to move in a groove here and just get it over with. Now here I am tacking and welding in this 2 inch by 2 inch piece of rectangular steel that's an eighth of an inch thick. This is where the pivots for the dump bed are going to ultimately be mounted. Now here I am preparing the steel for the hinges for the dump body. I'm cutting all the steel with this cold cut chop saw. Uh, it does a great job cutting. I'm cleaning up the steel with this bench grinder. Now all this steel is made out of 3 16 inch thick material. And what I do is I, I cut them all the size and then I'm going to drill 3 quarter inch holes throughout all the pieces. Now here I am tacking and welding in the pivot mounts uh, for the trailer. These are the mounts that go onto the trailer itself. There's six of them and I have them lined up so it will prevent any side to side movement of the bed. Uh, the bed will also have mounts on them. They're going to have three mounts on the top and you can kind of see it in the bottom of the screen. Those uh, three mounts from the bed will sandwich in between the mounts on the trailer and if all goes well it will be a perfect fit. Not that part, scrape the weld. See, yeah, there you go. Now, here I've jacked up the trailer, I've removed the wheels, and now I'm just using an angle grinder with a wire wheel on it, just trying to get rid of all the rust from the bottom of the trailer before I continue on with this project. Uh, and here I am just adding coats of primer and then paint. 
Now here I am preparing the wheels uh, just for a repaint job. I'm just hitting off all the loose paint and the rust with the wire wheel, cleaning off with soap and water, and I added a nice new coat of paint later on. Now here we are moving on to fabricating the rest of this trailer. Here I am just cutting pieces of 2 inch angle iron uh, with my cold cut chop saw. I now am welding everything together for the actual frame of the dump bed itself. I took extra care to make sure everything was nice and square. Uh, here are some of the crossbars that I'm welding in. I originally was going to only use two crossbars, but then as you'll see in a moment I changed my mind and added two more. So there would be a total of six horizontal bars supporting this dump bed. It's also important to note that the dump bed itself, that big piece of sheet metal you see, is actually 20 gauge sheet metal that was cut to 4 feet by 6 feet. And here is what the dump bed looks like after all that welding. Uh, now this piece that you see right here, this is a piece of quarter inch steel with a three quarter inch hole in it. That's where the winch is going to actually pick up on the dump bed. So that's important to weld really well. Uh, these two pieces that I'm welding now are the pivot points for the mast. And again, uh, I believe I was using 3 16 inch steel there. These are the vertical supports for the walls. These are all two inch angle iron, eighth inch thick. And this is uh, me tacking in the walls here. And I'm really moving now. It's starting to look like a trailer. And I added a support in the middle of the walls uh, along the length of it just to add a little bit more rigidity on the side. And here I am, finish welding everything. And now here I am doing the final welding of the 20 gauge sheet metal to the body. Uh, I'm not doing long stitch welds. I'm actually just spot welding it and I'm just adding uh, little tiny beads of weld throughout the entire length of the sheet metal. And I did this all around the trailer and uh, it proved to save me weld material and it helped make it extra strong. Uh, this shot right here I'm actually making the tailgate and again it's all the same material so I'm using uh, eighth inch angle iron with 20 gauge sheet metal. Here I'm taking the steps to prepare my trailer for paint. In order to do that, I, I cleaned everything out with an all-purpose cleaner and degreaser. I wiped everything inside and out, top to bottom, and then I wheeled the entire trailer into my shop where I applied paint and primer. So here is the finished trailer. Let's take a walk around and show you some of the features. So this is a, I used a tandem axle homemade trailer that I got from somebody off of Craigslist as the base for this. Here's the rear tailgate. This tailgate is, head on, uh, is held on by four of these pins. When I need to dump it, all I have to do is pull this bottom pin out, and then when I activate the dump mechanism, this gate will swing open, spilling out the contents. This is all made from eighth inch angle iron steel, uh, two inch eighth inch square tubing, as well as 20 gauge sheet metal. Here is the dump mechanism. This is a 2,000 pound 12 volt electric winch. I have it hooked up to a deep cycle marine RV battery. And it's all wired into this switch right here. The winch, the cable goes up this five foot tall mast to a pulley at the top and then comes back down to this part right here that's attached to the dump bed. Let me push some buttons and show you how it dumps. So 
So this is the dump angle. It's about a 40 degree angle. And as you can see, this mast here is mounted on a three quarter inch steel pin that acts as a pivot. So as the trailer goes up, the mast pivots forward so it can continue the dump angle. And this is the tailgate opening up. This, in theory, will swing open and all the material will spill out. If that doesn't uh, work out that way in practice, I will be able to remove the tailgate by removing the top two pins and then dump my contents that way. And there you have it. There is our dump trailer build. Hey, if you need parts for your vintage Kohler K-Series engines, Briggs & Stratton Magnum Series engine, as well as the Kohler KT Twin Series engines, please check out our website, isavetractors.com. We are devoted to developing and supplying people with parts so they can affordably and effectively rebuild their vintage small engines. My name is Norman. See you next time.